Before I start this video, I just want to let you know that I am a Luminar partner. Advanced copies of Luminar AI are already on sale. Click the link in the description to get special pre-order pricing. Hey YouTubers, this is Jacques Gaines and today I'm going to be talking to you about the new release of Luminar AI. It is the one-stop shop slider based artificial intelligence post-production photography software out there and it kicks butt. In this video, I will go through my impressions of some of the new features introduced in Luminar AI and will ask the question, what does Luminar AI have that previous versions like Luminar 2018, Luminar 3 and Luminar 4 do not have? So even with older versions of Luminar, even the 2018 version, I was always really, really amazed by the instant gratification you could get out of this software. Now, as miraculous as it is, it, there are pros and cons to the software. And that's what I wanna talk about really, really quick. All three softwares, 2018 3 and Luminar 4, the library functions are so-so. Eh, eh, They've gotten better, but they're not super great. The other downside of all Luminar softwares is the amount of processor hit the software takes on a computer. So those are two things that have bothered me and I hope in the new software will be addressed. So what does Luminar AI promise? Well, the people at Skylum Software promise a lot of stuff that will be nothing short of groundbreaking. Luminar is a fully redesigned software. That means they started from the core and built up. This is good news and bad news for some people. The good news is I speculate that a lot of the performance issues that Luminar 4 had will be gone. The bad news is that you will not be able to move your catalogs from Luminar 4 to AI. It's not a bad thing for me because I use the software as a plugin for Photoshop. But those who have invested in L4 libraries might be a bit disappointed. The user interface has had a 100% look overhaul. However, the UI keeps the same slider based and tab based edit feel on the right hand side of the photo you are editing. The feel is a bit less dark, a bit more blue and brighter in general. Luminar keeps up with its tradition of giving brands to its edit sliders. Skin AI promises to smooth skin, preserve texture, and reduce shine on top of removing blemishes. Face AI promises to do edits where it thinks edits should take place. Sounds to me like an upgrade to an already stellar portrait section. Not everything was announced at the press release. There are others that are coming, such as Composition AI, which will automatically fix a crooked images. And in the same vein, other cool branded enhancements are Iris AI, Color AI, and Atmosphere AI. All these new branded enhancements will obviously be doing everything via AI, which is artificial intelligence. Therefore, look for adjusting Iris with artificial intelligence adjusting color and atmosphere with artificial intelligence. Now, Luminar is not alone within the artificial intelligence post-production photography software companies out there. There is another company called Anthropix, and Anthropix has a software called Portrait Pro. It is very good. It's not to my liking, but it is very good. I also have a video on the comparison between the two. You guys can check it out. I'll leave the link in the description. But Portrait Pro also has other packages that they offer. And one is called Portrait Pro Body, where you can actually edit a body. You can do all kinds of different edits to make the body of a person look better. Well, now within Luminar AI, they have what's called Body AI. I'm very anxious to see what it is, but if you ask me, it's going to be paralleled or very similar to what Portrait Pro Body does within their software. Looks in Luminar AI will now be called Templates. The people at Skylum really hinted to the idea that it was a whole new way of looking at presets. 
So maybe it's just a nomenclature change, but I do have a feeling that what they want to do is make looks a bit more customizable. Also, you will get intelligent batch processing that has been thrown in the mix based on editing decisions you made on one photo in a batch. You can automate the tax for a whole bunch of other photos. Other newness announced was that Luminar X is a little something new. This is a membership that you can buy for the whole year and it offers giving you extras during the year, extra looks, training, textures and marketplace discounts. There you go, that's the sum of what I think of the software so far and what I have seen about the features. I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me you guys what you think, how you've, how your experience has been with Luminar. Uh, it, it can be negative, it can be positive, it's okay. We're here to talk about these type of things. And uh, you guys, make sure you leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe, and don't forget everybody, keep on making something from nothing.